All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, August 5th. We have a few MLB plays coming your way in today's video. We still are on the road traveling, um, but this is the last day. We'll be home tomorrow. So this is the last sort of hybrid video that you'll get. Um, if you guys don't know, usually every single day we're going through every single game. I'm giving you my opinion on the game, my leans on the game, that type of thing. But when we're traveling, when we're on vacation, we just do a hybrid version where I kind of give you, uh, I guess, my favorite plays of the day just right off the rip instead of kind of breaking down and giving my thoughts on every single game. But we have a player prop, we have a two-player parlay, and then we also have a nerfy coming your way in today's video. As always, keep an eye on the pinned comment to see the odds that we're getting for these, as well as anything, um, you know, in terms of an updated play or added play or anything like that. And yes, this angle still giving me a million chins, but you know what? We're rolling with it because, like I said in yesterday's video, more chins, more wins. We have a four and one night last night. Juan Soto didn't look like that was going to catch, and then all of a sudden, he goes deep over the fence. Orioles first five and full game money line both cash and then our smurfy parlay which is some runs in the first inning three leg parlay cashes as well for a plus 116 the only thing that doesn't cash is the phillies mariners nerfy unfortunately but nonetheless that's just one loss four wins we're now on a 18 and 18 and 5 run i believe which still you know, someone ragged me in the comments yesterday saying, don't say this, but I'll say it again. At some point, it's going to pay off to fade me because this hot streak doesn't stay like this forever. But you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. Appreciate everybody that still tunes in even when the videos are, you know, I like to keep them at this quality, right? Even when we're on the road and we kind of got to bring it down here, I still kind of take pride in uh, the quality of our road videos, but they're not the same as our, uh, you know, home videos. So, Appreciate everyone that tunes in, even when we are, uh, you know, doing the shorter videos and the, the hybrid version videos. But let's get this chin to work. Let's go play number one. We're looking at Rafi Devers here, over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. I got this at minus 135 over on MGM. They actually have a, I believe it's a 33% boost right now over there as well. So if you want to ride this on MGM, I'll have a link in the pinned comment. I got this at minus 102 after the boost there. So that's good to see. But he's hit the over here in 11 straight games. He's going up against a righty today in Brady Singer. Uh, Rafi on the year against righties batting 338 with a WRC plus of 197.2 and Brady Singer against left-handed pitchers his ERA nearly doubles his batting average goes up 52 points um, and his Woba against goes from 298 to 368 so he doesn't fare very well against lefty batters. Rafi loves righty pitchers. I think it's a good spot for him today in his career here against Singer eight plate appearances three hits one home run two RBIs um, batting average of 375. So, could be a good matchup. Should be a good matchup. And Singer's going to throw a lot of sliders. Rafi's batting 500 in terms of an average against sliders in the month of uh, August here. And then the back end of July, he did really well against sliders as well. And then on the season, his Woba jumps to 450 against the slider. So if Singer sliders on, obviously this is going to be tough because regardless if a guy hits a slider well, if the slider's moving, that thing is moving. It's going to be a good pitch. But if he's even a tad off, Rafi should be able to hit the over here because he can capitalize on a pitch that hangs or something along the lines of that. So Rafi Devers, over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs is play number one. All right, play number two here. We're moving on to our nerfy of the day here. We have the Cubs and the Twins. No runs in the first inning. This may look like on your book the total in the first inning under .5. Um, so you look at the Cubs and the Twins and say, okay, on the season, they've both been kind of 50-50 to the nerfy. Uh, yes, sometimes they score runs in the first inning. Sometimes they don't, right? But with the two pitchers on the mound, first off, Kyle Hendricks here, 73% hit rate with Hendricks on the mound um, for the Cubs. And he's done it in four straight games as well. And that was against St. Louis and... Arizona, Kansas City, and Cincinnati. Not really offenses to tip your nose at, right? Especially with Arizona and Kansas City in the middle of a hot streak right now. So good looks for them because Minnesota has a very good offense as well. But then we flip over to their side, David Festa. Now, like I said, on the season, they're kind of a 50-50 team as well. But David Festa getting the start today. Um, I believe this is third or fourth start, but he's gone three straight starts here of no runs in the first inning, most recently against the Mets, who are obviously also a good lineup there as well. So I like the spot for the nerfy. Uh, minus 130 odds. Uh, just go out there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three innings can do the job here for us and cash this one. So I'm trusting the pitchers on the mound, at least in the first inning. Would I say that these are two guys that are going to result in an under or something like that? Not necessarily, but, you know, one time through the lineup should be okay. And then our final play of the day, guys, is going to be via Underdog Fantasy. If you're not aware, I just recently inked a deal with Underdog, and I'm super, super excited for that. So if you guys do want to check out Underdog, I'll have a link in the pinned comment. You guys can get a deposit bonus up to 250 bucks 
and they have special squares and discounted squares and free squares um, on there as well right now. So go ahead and check it out. Again, that link is in the pinned comment. If you are not on Underdog, I've already been using it for what, a week now? Well, I used it prior to it, but have now been partnered with them um, for under a week. This is one of the best uh, daily fantasy player prop apps out there. So go ahead and check it out. Take advantage of the discounts and take advantage of their payouts as well. What we're rolling with here is Kevin Biggio. Um, less, I was going to say under, but less than 5.5 total bases, and then Rodri Muna's less than 4.5 hits allowed. We use the optimizer to find these picks. Both have like a 54% chance of hitting in terms of sportsbooks odds independently. You throw them in a slip together, I like our chances here. So again, it's Biggio, lower than 0.5 total bases, and then Muno's uh, like I say, Frankie Munez, lower than four and a half hits allowed here. Go check out Underdog. That link is in the pinned comment. But yeah, we got a nerfy. We got a player prop and then an underdog slip. But let's keep this train going. Uh, like I tell you, I don't know when the time to get off is, but we'll keep trying to throw out winners. And you know what? If they keep winning, they keep winning, right? Until then, more chins, more wins. We'll catch you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.